Hi my friend, yesterday Daniel Dubov and Vincent Kema played against each other in FIDE Grand Prix tournament and this game was supported by heavy engine preparation by Dubov and Vincent was a victim of this preparation but he played very good, almost all the moves were forced and he found the best moves in almost all cases except in one move that led uh, to the victory of the Daniel. I don't know where the classical chess is going with this um, uh, preparations and I want to show you the game by showing the engine suggestions. So this is why I didn't turn off engine arrow. You can see how precise was Vincent actually. This is a Korokon defense and attacking to B pawn. Daniel doesn't care and uh, develops. Um, similarly, Vincent. Of course, it's possible to capture this pawn, but the defense is also not difficult. For example, Queen there. You cannot capture this because the knight because you will lose a queen. So queen there, also if you capture here, it's very bad because you allow the queen of white to enter the black territory. That's not what you are looking for. So and the best continuation is just to capture, capture, and then as engine suggests, push the pawn. But of course, you may go greedy and grab the C pawn, but then the position of the king of black is very weak and we lose a lot of material especially knight jumps in and wants to go to c7 and deliver check and win the rook and uh, there is little that black can do best for black is to push the pawn but uh, white can get in and uh, bring the knight in a very good place to to bother black and at this position as you can see engine says that just castle and lose the A pawn, for example, uh, the important A pawn here. And there is not much better than that. For example, oh, sorry. For example, at this position, if you try to develop from the other side, then have a good day. Uh, this is very not too much pressure on the king side attacking the F pawn. And if you defend with the bishop, we try to attack to the bishop. If you try to prevent our attack, we continue and so on. So let's go to the game. And Vincent didn't go for this uh, adventure, of course. Uh, he didn't want to fall into all possible such traps. So simply he develops the knight. And this knight was the key point. For example, uh, in, in all lines that we had, uh, when queen captures b pawn, the knight, undeveloped knight is a weakness. But no, it's not a weakness, and he can grab the b pawn. That's all good. And Daniel is uh, in his, oh sorry, Daniel is in his preparation and uh, follows best moves, best suggestions. Here again, uh, Vincent is doing perfectly fine, perfect. Uh, performing best moves of the engine, pins the knight, and, and Daniel develops the knight further, uh, wants to say check at c7. What happens if you grab this one? If you grab this one, uh, white just simply takes back, and for example, if you try to develop your uh, knight and go for castling, then you have a difficulty because similar to what happened in the game actually uh, we have a rook that goes to this uh, seventh rank and this is not what you want before you castle so uh, what happened in the game was not that vincent played the best move prevent the knight from going to c7 and delivering check winning the rook right so attacks uh, to the queen queen has not much place to go actually and attacks again. Why Dubov gives up the C pawn? Because wants to open up the C file and use that file with his rook. 
And here is where we can see that he uses that file for, with his rook, attacks the queen of black and we have a queen trade here. Now the c file is open and it's a sort of a pain for Vincent, but he played very good. Let's go forward. And the debuff is prepared, uh, as you can see, it doesn't play exactly what engine suggests. The first move of an engine plays differently and it's even better than first move of engine because they analyze it with super computers and um, maybe different engines than a normal stockfish. Okay. Uh, uh, that takes a uh, bishop and this was also nice by vincent for example vincent could have gone there b6 with the bishop but he exactly performed the best move of the engine and so far so good but here it's a uh, complication it starts the or continues and when complication continues people collapse okay uh, brings the knight in uh, Vincent, maybe it was better to move the bishop and move before to defend the f7 pawn, but he didn't take it serious or what? He didn't uh, take care of it. Now he understands that the f7 pawn is weak, push the B g pawn to be able to bring the bishop back and defend the pawn with this position that the g pawn is already advanced and it doesn't block. Uh, it, uh, the bishop doesn't block that pawn. So far, it's still good. Um, Vincent is doing well. It's not the best position, but it's playable. And Daniel develops the rook. Now, this rook um, d4 move is very strange. I mean, for example, you also see engine says that develop the bishop. But this d4 rook is a very nice rook lift. The idea is to go to a file and attack the a pawn. Uh, very simple idea, right? And there is no way to go, no other way to go. For example, you cannot go to d3 or d2. d3 is uh, controlled by bishop of black. And d2 is useless because your own pawn is in on the a file. But such lifts are usually not easy to see before prior to, to, uh, they perform. So Daniel takes care of uh, his uh, structure, doesn't want to allow black to have any counterplay or develop the rooks and here was the only the only means mistake that vincent did at this position vincent it's very complicated i am going to discuss it a little bit vincent had to play king d7 because the rook wants to go to uh, to capture the a7 pawn um, what's the plan of king a7 d7 is to bring the other rook in the action and do not block the h rook and um, for example if rook goes to a7 we block them we defend the a7 pawn with the knight this is very in uh, human actually because this knight can be pinned of course and you don't have any way to get rid of this pin for example going here it doesn't help it is still pinned this time by c rook so and you cannot of course you cannot leave it uh, on pre to lose it so and uh, what you should do you should simply grab this bishop grab this bishop and then after some moves we arrive to a position that black is doing fine even though black is down uh, exchange for example uh, here actually white shouldn't take the a pawn white should retreat the knight and black should take the dangerous e pawn now the position is okay uh, black is doing okay white has nothing uh, to play with if white wants to open up files it doesn't work because black attacks the d knight of white and white cannot do anything except perpetual check I mean, if you retreat the knight, then you are in a very, very difficult position. You lose all your pawns and uh, it's uh, even mating attack is running. So you cannot retreat the knight. You should, white should all the time give a check and yeah, that's it. But Vincent didn't see that strange king d7 move and the idea was 
yeah it was complex also you should see that the exchange doesn't uh, sacrificing exchange is not that bad like at this position uh, sacrificing exchange that is not that bad but okay he didn't see that and then daniel went forward to implement his uh, attack first prepares doesn't uh, go to a file immediately but surely but slowly but surely goes there and finally takes the a pawn the plan and the idea here is to deliver mate at d7 right if you do something nonsense then rook d7 is a classical mate so vincent defends this mate but it doesn't help he loses a lot of material here and here vincent is down a complete piece yes he has some pawn and some activity but it doesn't help because daniel first offer exchange and when it doesn't accept vincent doesn't accept daniel simply defends the knight no you if you take the e pawn uh, we simply win the rook and there is no way to continue this game and for that reason uh, vincent didn't go for this line that i show you vincent simply resigned and didn't continue what's your opinion was this game beautiful this heavy prepared engine game i mean all moves were forced and vincent did only one mistake and that uh, uh that mistake was also a little bit difficult to see what to do at that moment because you should give up exchange and then evaluate the position when, and observe that being exchanged down and even losing the a a pawn you don't lose the game this was really difficult to evaluate and in some sense it is a bit unfair that someone should think over the board the other one prepares before what do you think what do you think about the future of classical chess if it is going to be that much uh, dealing with preparation let me know in the comments bye